Hey everyone, uh, today let's go through one lead code problem 2696, minimum string length after removing substrings. Uh, let's take a read at the problem first. You're given a string S consisting only of uppercase English letters. You can only you can apply some operations to this string where in one operation you can remove any occurrence of one of the substrings A, B, or C, D. Only two string patterns, A, B, or C, D, from string S. Return the minimum possible length of the resulting string that you can obtain. Note, the string, that, uh, the string concatenates after removing the substring and could produce new A, B, or C, D substrings. What does that mean? Let's take a look at the example. A, B, F, C, A, C, D, B, that's the input. Output is 2. How did we get 2? Explanation. So, a, B. So this is one of the patterns, A, B. So we'll just remove A, B. We got F, C, A, C, D, B. And then F, C, A, C, D, B, C, D is the other one of the two patterns. So we remove C, D. What we got is F, C, A, B, right? Because after we remove C, D, A and B, they become concatenated. Okay, and then in that case, we'll have to remove A, B. So we end up with F, C. So this is how we got the final string length of two. Okay, so this is um, this explains the logic of how we are given the input a b f c a c d b and we return the result as an integer two. Um, so the cool thing about this this problem is that you just need to do the concatenation or after it contracts. It still will need to apply the patterns. Basically, we need to remove the two stream patterns. Either it's A, B, or it's C, D. An idea that came to my mind after you solve a lot of problems is basically you use a data structure called stack. Stack, well, one of the cool features of stack is that first in and last out. So you put something onto the stack, you keep adding things on top of the stack. So the thing that you add last is on the top of the stack. So that thing goes off of the stack first, right? So that's what we are going to do to use that data structure to help us achieve this problem. So we basically go through the input string from left to right. We put each character on top of the stack. A, we put on top of the stack. And then right now on the stack, there is only one character, which is A. And then we go through the string from left to right. The second character we encounter is B. So we check if the stack is empty or not. In this case, it's not empty. And we check if this one is B, and then the one on the stack is A. We know these two are going to remove. It forms a one of the patterns, right? There are only two patterns, so we can write a simple two if statements to figure out all of the cases. If the idea is clear, let's put the idea into the actual code. Okay, we'll just uh, um, have a stack uh, data structure in Java. We can use dq. Uh, the character type we're going to hold is character. Um, the type, the type of the stack we're going to um, hold, we can use character. Uh, call it stack new. We can use linked list as a concrete data um, class to implement that implements uh, DQ. Um, DQ is basically a superseded version of stack, which is deprecated in Java. Um, okay, we'll go through everything for i equals zero i smaller than s dot length uh, i plus plus if stack so there are a few cases if stack is empty in that case we'll just directly add um, push at last this should be at last we'll just directly uh, we'll have a variable called c as char at i if it's empty, we'll di directly add it into the on top of the stack. Else, that means the stack is not empty. Peak last. If, okay, so what we want to do is, if C, the current one that we're encountering, we're iterating on through the string, if 
it is so there are only two cases whether it's a b or c d right if the one we're encountering is b and the one that's on top of the stack is what is a that means we need to pop this one off pull last pop the last one on top of the stack off okay there's another case which is if the current one we're iterating on is D and the one on top of the stack is C, we'll also do the same thing. Otherwise, that means we encounter something that is other than A or C, other than B or D. So in that case, we'll just add it on top of the stack. And then in the end, what we can do is that we can just return the size of the stack. That's it, because after, for example, going through this input string, the final stack will only have f and c on the stack, and then the length is just two. So we return the size of the stack. All right, let's give it a try. Oh, it doesn't have length. Oh, okay. What? Let's see, length. Oh, I'm missing a close parenthesis. What am I doing here? Um, oh, peak last. It's not looking like this. It doesn't take any parameters. So we should do this. All right. Accept it. Now let me hit submit. Okay, accept it. Um, hopefully this idea is pretty straightforward so you can see how powerful using a correct or appropriate data structure is so important. The time complexity of this problem is just O n. n is the length of the entire stream because we go through this string only once. Space complexity is also O n. We talk about worst scenario of both time and space. In the worst case, we need to push every single character on top of the stack. So the stack size could amount up to n. All right. Um, if this video helps you understand the problem, please do me a favor and hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, please leave me any comments, feedback, any questions down in the video. I um, really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next one.